So you're wondering why my forearm is so big and your forearm is so small? Well, that's well, because that's today we're gonna show you how to correctly use your wrist in badminton so that you can properly generate power for all your shots and add deception into your shots without injuring yourself. And it's not what you think, so make sure to watch until the end. The first thing you need to know is not to only use your wrist. Think of this, when you're writing on paper, you're guiding your pen with your finger movement, with this rotation of your whole hand, including your wrist. If you only use your wrist hitting shots, there's gonna be a lack of power. Let me show you why. First of all, when you're holding your racket and only using your wrist, how I imagine you're using it, doing this forward and back motion, you'll see that there's a limited motion that you can swing your wrist. This is around maybe like a 45 degree motion. If you're a little bit more flexible, maybe 180 degrees. But the wrist is combined with what's before, which is the forearm, and what's after, which is the finger. So before the forearm, we need to make sure we pronate our forearm. Do you see how much more my racket can turn with the forearm pronation? Second is we need to also be using our fingers to control the racket. So before originally with just the wrist, it's only this movement, but adding in the forearm and the fingers, you see how much more of a movement I have. And the power generation on your contact point is going to be in a very small area, so you need to be able to whip it as fast as possible in that area. So make sure it's not only your wrist, but to include your forearm pronation as well as using your finger and grip to add power into your shot. Secondly, using your fingers, your grips, and your thumb, and everything just after your wrist gives you more control and consistency. I'm gonna show you how. Using our wrist just to focus on choosing which direction or angle that we're hitting at. So in the left-right direction, if we move only our wrist, you see how little our racket can move? But if we add in our fingers, or only if we only just use our fingers, it already moves so much more than using only our wrist. Now if we combine our fingers and our wrist, our racket has so much mobility in terms of direction you can hit. And your fingers are much more precise in controlling the angle of the racket left and right to choosing where you want to hit. Now we're gonna teach you how to snap your wrist until your head comes off. So this is how we use our thumb, our fingers, and our grip when hitting our shot. First thing, we're gonna go into our neutral grip, okay? But you'll see how light I'm holding it. If it, anything, it doesn't even need to touch my palm. It's just staying here, but of course, I'm using my palm to support it. Now, when the shot comes, of course, I'm leading with my elbow. We're doing our pronation, and as it comes to this point, you'll see that I'm leaving lots of space in my palm so that I can grip it really quickly. It reaches the shuttle, I'm gonna be pronating and turning at the same time as I grip the shot. You'll see that it's not a forward and back motion, but it's kind of like a 180 whip kind of motion going straight. And when we're generating our power for this grip, you're gonna be wanting to generate starting from your last finger and then bring it in, bring it in, bring it in until you get all the way to your index finger and press it down with your thumb as a support. And of course for backhand shots, instead of using your index finger, you're going to be using more of your thumb. Same starting with the last fingers, bringing in and then using your thumb to press forward. Here's some exercises you can do at home to apply more of your fingers and your grip into your wrist shots. So first, what we're gonna do is our left and right swings. Just make sure that we're nice and agile in our hand and we're not over gripping while still using our wrist. Second, it's gonna be the same concept, switching between left and right, but hitting to ourselves with the bird. And you wanna keep this very short and quick so that you can work on switching back and forth and having that control with more of your fingers. Our third exercise is with a partner, just work on hitting different types of shots. Clears, drops, smashes, tap, lifts, everything, but keeping it nice and small and you're really focusing on that snap. And of course, our last practice is always hitting against the wall. Keep it very fast, low and short, and if you can, do left and right, and that'll get give you a very good feel on how to control your hands and your racket. Now that you've learned all these secrets and your wrist is super strong and your forearm is super big, just be careful when you explain that to your friends.